all about the relationships between uh, the drummer, the actual instrument in the room. There are three aspects. Uh, it's so important and usually so underestimated. Each room we used was a certain type of room. We went to a big space, rec studio, parallel walls, absorbed and treated, uh, so you can get a very punchy sound, but you still have uh, a huge size. Rack Studio B, a weirdly shaped, oddly shaped, medium sized room with double height ceiling, perfect for rock drums. Can be really aggressive if you want to, or can be very vibey. Then we went to Snap Studio, that is a medium sized room with the oak floors, an end that is more live and reverberant. It has a huge glass from the control room to the live room, so that side is more reflective, while the other side is more absorbent. Gem Track is fairly small, but it's not absorbent treated, so it's quite reflective and it sounds much bigger than it actually is. Then we went uh, to this little room, that is my overdub booth, that is not supposed to house drum kit at all. We ended up at Air Studio One, that is a huge room, also used for orchestral recording. It's a very live room, it's not too much absorbent. Luckily, we had the time uh, to play around with some uh, absorbing panels uh, to change uh, the sound of the room, and we discovered that made it whole lot of difference, much more than I ever thought it was going to make. The whole goal was to keep it very consistent, so we needed to figure out the way in advance to record the drum kit exactly in the same way, so we could compare. The reason why we opted in for binaural recording is to have the closest possible thing to human perception. We opted to have some closed mics as well. And then we put some other mics, they're called PZMs, according to the room size, they were the farthest possible from the drum kit. Then from the mics, you go to the mic preamplifiers. We used the full strike ISIS A28 mic pre's. From there, we went through an RME interface and no additional processing was involved into the recording. When we record a drum kit, we usually tweak sounds before we hit the computer. We equalize, we compress the sound, and we didn't want that to happen this time. We were pretty maniac on keeping everything really consistent, so we use the same mic preamps with the same gain, so we can also see does the room sound louder or sound quieter, or you know how does the volume change? How does the sound change? How does the frequency change? Each room has its own character. This experiment 100% confirmed this.
the end of the day is all about having clear ideas of the sound you want to have on record and going to the room that can actually give you that sound so you can experiment in the room to really exploit all the potentials of the sound that you're looking for.